Okay, today's little video. What's going on, everybody? Ten dollar downforce meter. That's right. Ten bucks. Um, it's got some more expensive ones that I've seen floating around the, the little hobby, and uh, I'm not not willing to spend a hundred and plus dollars for something I know that I can get a lot cheaper. Make myself. It's a Harbor Freight special, man. It's ten bucks. Um, ordered it online because they didn't have it in the, the local China Freight store. Um, this is how it came. Let's say that. All right. Open up out of the package. There you go. It even came equipped with a crack in the uh, case. So that's pretty cool. What do you expect, man? It's ten bucks. Um, the hole I put there, which I'll show you momentarily. This piece it came with. Is where you put your uh, material you're trying to weigh. Um, downside to this is it's uh, it's non-magnetic, so it had to go. It was stuck on there with a couple pieces of two-faced tape. It's gone. This little guy here I cut up some sheet steel, pretty thin, not anything too crazy. All right, and. Uh, Again, double stuck tape it on her just like the original one was. And I'll show you how well it works. The hole is for the guide pin, as you can see. It sits right on her. And it will go rest right inside this channel. There's plenty of depth there. So we fire this guy up. Hopefully you can see the numbers. Right now read zero. Put the cover on. Still read zero. Take your car. It's obviously going to read a negative number because it's pulling up instead of giving it weight. So it's reading minus 5 grams. And then this guy here, some of you might recognize this car. The, uh, the Christmas giveaway car. This is a T-Dash that uh, got all the good things in it. And this is at 4.0. I got to uh, try and get a little bit stronger of a magnet in this guy. But it's reading 4.0. Uh, it'll even read nostalgias if you're so want, if you're so inclined to try and tackle that thing of getting downforce and nostalgia. That one's 0.9 grams. Uh, so again, I mean, now ready to go. Uh, will you be able to compare this to others if you yourself buy one of these and you go, well, my car doesn't have this much downforce as yours does? Uh, well, I can't guarantee there's any consistency at all between these. Mind you, it is a $10 tool from Harbor Freight that I modified. And then, you know, whatever you guys choose to use for the, the metal plate, uh, there might be some modifications that need to be done. This might need to be shimmed up a little bit because it is really, really close. Um, if you squeeze on it, it'll it'll actually change the numbers. So bear that in mind. You might need to do a little bit of uh, massaging to get it to read zero and not read when you put weight onto it or you put the cover onto it. But nonetheless, man, there you go. Ten bucks and about ten minutes worth of monkey farting around, and I got myself a downforce meter for my T jets. So hopefully uh, this will help you guys out a little bit. Try and tune your cars, make them that much faster. Enjoy.